947 is your time, Oklahoma, and a run happening next weekend to raise money for cancer research. OU Health Stevenson Center is set to host the Outpace Cancer Race on Saturday, April 13th. And in studio this morning, we have Heather Waller. Heather, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. I'm just so honored to be here. All right, so let's start with the first question. Tell us more about this run. I know there are three events, but what can people expect this year? Um, so Outpace Cancer Race is a 10K, a 5K, a one mile fun run and then throughout the whole event we have um, a family friendly fun event called Bring Your Pace Bash where we have food trucks, KJ 103 and then a photo booth, poster making, just a big fun event to all get together and um, celebrate and raise money for Stevenson Cancer Center. Yeah, let's talk about the Stevenson Cancer Center. Uh, you told me off camera that you actually are a cancer survivor, so you have a, a really deep connection to the reason behind this race. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. Um, so I was diagnosed with cancer in 2021 and with the support of my family, friends, my faith, and then the care that I received from Stevenson Cancer Center. Um, three years later, I'm here today. And so this event is super special to me because it gives me a chance to give back to the place that truly did save my life, as well as being able to um, support others who um, may be going through the same situation as me or have family members. So to be able to put on this event is just truly such an honor for yeah, me. It's truly a blessing, bl blessing too. And I do want to ask you about the Stevenson Cancer Center. I know the funds from this race, it's going to go back to support uh, the center and it's helping, you know, patients like you were and, and their families. Just talk a little bit more about your experience at the center while you were there and how you hope this money raised will continue the efforts that they're doing there. Yes, yeah, so when I was there, um, I received extremely excellent patient care. Um, we donate all the funds, go back to the cancer center, so we help to lessen the burden that a cancer diagnosis gets placed on a patient and their families while also funding the um, cutting edge research to hopefully one day wake up in the world where there is no cancer. Yeah, absolutely there. So um, do you want to talk about it? We're a little more than a week out from the race. Is there anything that people should be doing right now to prepare themselves outside of, you know, just regular <laughs> training if you're doing the 10K, 5K, even the fun run too, because a mile ooh, for me. <laughs> but what should people be doing right now to get themselves ready? And um, if they just want to get involved, share with their friends about the event and um, um, just get super excited. I mean, it's going to be a beautiful day and we just can't wait to recognize and celebrate everyone that's impacted with a cancer diagnosis or from a cancer diagnosis. Absolutely. And so one thing we do is we ask people why they outpace and so everyone has a different reason. And so um, that's what drives them to kind of complete the race and to just all come together to support the Stevenson Cancer Center. And I know that there are opportunities for volunteering. How can people sign up for that? So if you are interested in volunteering or running the race, um, just visit outpacecancer.com. All right. And again, for people at home, when, where can they find you all on April 13th? At the Stevenson Cancer Center, and um, we'll be there at 7 a.m. till 10:30 a.m. So please come out and support if you can. All right, sounds good. We're going to put some more information up on the SC and on section of KOCO.com. Heather, thank you so much for coming in. It's been amazing to talk to you. Thank you. All right.